Good day, everyone. I'll be presenting my research paper entitled Interactive Ebook A Proactive Approach in Improving Students' Academic Achievement in Mathematics. I am Mr. Lord Sancuciano, the researcher. Now, I'll be presenting first the gaps or rationale. Evidence gap or connotatory evidence gap. So, since education is no longer held within the school, parents serve as partners of teachers in education. Parents play a vital role as home facilitators. Their primary role is in modular learning is to establish a connection and guide the children. That's according to the Flip Science 2020. Now, for the knowledge gap or knowledge void gap, Student satisfaction according to the academic achievement level using the interactive ebook. So, their satisfaction level, whether it's satisfactory or unsatisfactory. For the practical knowledge gap, conflict gap, or action knowledge conflict gap, it's about the distance learning of students. So, in this research paper, we'll be talking more on the distance learning modality. For methodological gap or method and research design gap, uh, descriptive design utilizing quantitative analysis. So this is purely quantitative with a sort of a FGD or focus group discussion for qualitative. For empirical gap or evaluation void gap, students learning experiences using FGD. And theoretical gap or theory application void gap, students are learning how to learn and they are empowered. That's according to Nardo MTB of 2017. And lastly, for population gap, junior high school students following the modality, namely modular distance learning or MDL, online distance learning or ODL, that is the focus of the study, and the TV radio-based instruction. That's according to Kinonis of 2020. Now, Next slide. I'll be presenting the what study says about your topic. So I'll be presenting citations, and this is according to the author, first author, that ebook has become a sophisticated technological innovation expected to witness tremendous developments that enable it over time to replace traditional paper books for prospective future. So that's according to Lynch of 2012, Shen of 2011 and Chang of 2011. So ebook has a mainly a set of texts of informative material designed for study in a digital template including written texts, images, graphics, audio clips, video or animation or etc. allowing the possibility of displaying on screens of e-devices. Now Another author, this study disclosed the potential of Code2B interactive ebook as one of the alternative teaching approaches in facilitating teaching learning experience in mathematics. It directly provides visual comprehension of the mathematics concepts. It is supported by the study of Mike Carlin, PhD of 2013, which showed that for teachers looking to create digital books and make their classroom content more engaging, Go2B is an excellent tool. And lastly, what the authors say that we can enhance the learning process and make concepts come alive through engaging and interactive media. We may also offer additional supports to address the needs of all learners and create customized learning experiences. That's according to Christine. Sharaldi of 2000. Now, what are the research questions or objectives of this study? So number one, what is the academic achievement level of students using the interactive ebook? Number two, do the respondents pre-test and post-test scores differ significantly? And number three, what are the students' learning experiences when exposed to interactive ebook? So, here's the methodology. So, the design is obviously, it's a pre-experimental design with pre-test and post-test design. Sampling frame, it's the simplest random sampling technique. So, 
only one section. Sample. So it uh, used the frequency, percentage, mean, and standard deviation. For number of participants, 50 student respondents. Instruments uh, included also validity and reliability tests. Gate data gathering. So I gathered, I used this simple random uh, sampling technique and I choose only one section uh, among the grade 10 level. For scoring, 41 to 50 scores got will be an outstanding performance for the academic achievement level. 31 to 40, very satisfactory. 21 to 30, satisfactory. 11 to 20, unsatisfactory. And 0 to 10, failed or needs improvement. Ethical consideration. So I actually wrote a letter to uh, address to the superintendent because uh, I am having this uh, research uh, paper in my school or in the grade 10 level. For data analysis, I use quantitative, descriptive statistics, and qualitative focus group discussion. Now, results and discussion. What is the academic achievement level of students using interactive ebooks? So this is the academic achievement level of students in digital copies of self-learning modules through Code2B interactive ebook. So the table one shows the academic achievement level of students in the pre-test and post-test in one section of grade 10 level using interactive ebook. Now for the pre-test, I have here the failed. 9, that's 80%. So the unsatisfactory, 21, 42%. Satisfactory, 17, 34%. First satisfactory, 3, that's 6%. And outstanding, 0, that's 0%. A total of 100%. For post-test, academic achievement level, failed, 0, that's 0%. And unsatisfactory, 13, that's 26%. Satisfactory, 26, that's 52%. Very satisfactory, 7, that's 14%, and outstanding, 4, that's 8%, and total of 100%. Now, academic achievement level, this is take table 2, the mean and standard deviation of students in one section of grade 10 level using interactive ebook. For the mean, for the pretest, that's 18.96, with a standard deviation of 7.42. For the post-test, 26.18, that's the mean. And the standard deviation is 7.71. Now, for number two, do the respondents pre-test and post-test scores differ significantly? This is the comparison of the academic achievement of students using Code2B interactive ebook. Table three, comparison of between the pre-test and post-test scores of students in one group using Code2B interactive ebook. Now. The pre-test with the mean 18.96 and the standard deviation of 7.42 with the post-test 26.18 and the standard deviation of 7.71 and the result of the Wilcoxon statistic that's 27.0 and the p-value of 0, 0.000, therefore the decision is reject null hypothesis which states that the data disclosed that there was a significant difference in the pre-test and post-test scores of students as shown by the computed p-value, which is less than the level of significance of 0 0.05. The null hypothesis which stated that there is no significant difference in the academic achievement in mathematics between the pre-test and post-test scores of students is rejected. Now, for question number three, what are the students' learning experiences when exposed to interactive ebook? So students' learning experiences when exposed to digital copies of self-learning modules through interactive ebook via Code B author application. So based on the results of the focus group discussion or FGD emerged the following themes. We have fun Code B learning experience. So the students claim that they have fun and enjoyed the learning. Every learning assessment given by the teacher aligned with the interactive ebook via Kotobi author. Now, for creating new opportunities and quick learning, so obviously, Kotobi interactive ebook improved students' academic achievement 
all respondents revealed that they have enjoyed creating and exploring new things on the different interactive links and attachment and featured found in every module in learning mathematics concepts in different types of sequence, polynomial expressions, and polynomial equations. And lastly, eagerness in learning mathematics. So, OTB Interactive eBook provided the very friendly environment in students as manifested in students' participation and making decisions based on their observations. Now, for conclusion and recommendation, so this is the problem one. What is the academic achievement level of students using the interactive eBook? So, finding so finding one, it is also revealed that nine student respondents got failing marks during the pretest as expected since they did not know the lesson so well. It was noticed that no one from the students achieved an outstanding rating in the pretest. So, but during the post test, many got the uh, highest rank or the outstanding rank and the satisfactory rank or achievement level. And conclusion, the use of digital copies of SLMs through interactive ebook via computer, via Kodobi reader application or the strategic intervention materials promotes satisfactory academic achievement among students. So recommendation, the use of digital copies of SLMs could be used by mathematics teachers facilitating change on their classes, especially those who conducted the blended learning modality specifically on online learning de delivery of instruction. Now for problem two, do the respondents' pretest and post-test scores differ significantly? The results show that the digital copy of SLM in mathematics grade 10 level through an interactive ebook by a Kodobi author with developed and validated video lessons significantly improved students' academic achievement. And for conclusion, with a significant difference in the academic achievement of students in one section, Kotobi Group, interactive ebook could be used to enhance conceptual understanding process, cognitive and technology technology skills in teaching mathematics. And for the recommendation, the strategic intervention materials aligned with the interactive ebook via Kotobi Reader application could also guide the mathematics teachers in their quest in improving mathematics education. And lastly, for the problem three, what are the students' learning experiences when exposed to interactive ebook? Now, for the findings, I, as I have mentioned, number one, fun Kodobi learning experience. Number two, creating new opportunities and quick learning. And number three, eagerness in learning mathematics skills. Now, for conclusion, Constant integration of interactive ebook in the class promotes good learning experience and achieve achievement among students. And for the recommendation, this could be used as a one of the educational materials in facilitating change and transformation on the learning experience of students. So here are my reference list using the ABA. That would be all, and thank you so much for listening.